Hi there, in this screencast I'm going to show you how to uh, make a splash screen. So I'm going to go uh, into my world and I'm going to add, uh, well, uh, my splash screen is just going to have the regular background. Uh, uh, so I'm going to use green foot image, background image one, and then I'm going to use the goose and finally I'm gonna make a, a declare a text object for uh, what my background is going to say so I'm gonna say uh, public text uh, I mean what my screencast screencast text and then I'm going to make an int variable that's gonna be a counter variable so that's gonna control how long my background is gonna my screen uh, my splash screen, gosh, I can't get it straight. This should be splash screen, not screencast. And I'm going to call this uh, splash screen counter. Okay, so in uh, my constructor method of my world now, I'm going to uh, initialize those values so I'm gonna say splash if I can spell it S P L A S. I'm going to initialize the counter variable to zero and I'm gonna say uh, splash green text equals new text and I'm gonna call I'm gonna call my game goose versus chicken Okay, and then I'm going to make it uh, color dot uh, yellow, and I will make it really, really big, like I'll try 200. So that's a huge font. Uh, and let's see, what's it telling me? Uh, oh, what did I call it? I, maybe I just called it. How did I? Oh, no, I bet I lowercase and capital. Let's see if that works. Uh, oh, yeah, and this needs to be in all caps. E -L -L -O -W. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to make a new variable or a new state for game state in the ACT method, and that's going to be called splash screen or that's going to be a value of splash screen. So I'm going to set game state to be uh, splash screen initially. And now in, um, uh, instead of adding, uh, let's see, what did I add before? The directions, did I add the directions in the constructor? Uh, it would be add object directions. Yes, instead of adding the directions, object to the world um, I'm going to add uh, the splash screen so and its message so my splash screen actually uh, won't have the goose it won't have the chicken uh, it'll just say um, you know goose versus chicken so down in the actor method or in the act method of my world I'm going to say I'm going to add something at the top here that says if game state dot equals splash screen, then uh, I'm going to let's see, add add object, and it's going to be uh, well. I'm going to say, before I even do that, I'm going to say splash green uh, counter plus plus. Oh, and let me add the, ob the splash green object to the world in the constructor. Screen text. No, it's going to be add object uh, splash screen text. And it would be get width divided by 2 and get height divided by 2. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to say 
when the game is in splash screen mode, I'm going to say add object. No, I'm going to say set text. Well, no, I don't need to do anything because I've already added the uh, splash screen text to the world. So now I'm going to say um, if splash screen counter equals, eh, let's say, uh, 150, then game state uh, equals startup. And I want to remove the uh, splash screen text. So I'm going to say remove object uh, splash screen text. And now I need to add the object. And let's see. Uh, it's the line. It's the directions. Because the directions will replace uh, the splash screen message. Okay, and uh, now I need to make sure the paint order is right so that none of this gets covered up. So the splash screen text needs to, uh, text.class appears first. So that's good. And now let me check to see what happens with my scrolling background. So when it's uh, triggered, so let's, uh, oh, and I have an error in here somewhere. And where is it? Uh, uh, let's see. I'm, oh, I think I'm probably missing a closed curly brace. Yes, I, no, that looks right. Uh, no, I'm not up there yet. Yes, I need a closed curly brace. And then I need to change this into else if. Okay, and now uh, I think that should do it. Uh, let's try running it and uh, see what happens. So let me go and way too big the font. Okay, so... Uh, Oh, and the other thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to not add the bird until uh, the splash screen's over. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to change my font to being, uh, let's see, where's the font? Oh, two minutes till the bell rings. Uh, oh, yeah, it was down, at the, uh, down here. Let's make it 100 instead. And then I'm going to find where I added the bird to the world. So it's right here. So I'm going to comment it out there. And I'm not going to add it until um, the splash screen's done. All right. So that's going to be right here. I can make the splash screen longer or shorter in length by changing this 150 to something else. Uh, I don't have to reset this variable because it only appears, the splash screen only happens once. Uh, so now, yeah, that's a little bit better. Uh, okay, so run. So my splash screen appears. There we go. All right, excellent. And now let me end the recording.